Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia. Today I'm going to be unboxing the super super trendy Ghani flap. I have had my eyes on them since the fall. They have been absolutely everywhere and I finally gave in and for a super super good reason okay and I will make sure I give you guys that reason okay but before we get to it make sure you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you're following my Instagram at with one purpose and my LTK which is just Nia G both will be linked down below so you can see more of my personal style and you can see how I ultimately end up styling these shoes I got these shoes on sale from Essence. They originally retail for about $395 and I was able to catch them on sale for $277. They were also on sale on Farfetch. The Essence sale was much better. I definitely do believe that these shoes are worth the price, especially for the material and the quality of almost $400. But being that they are one, super duper trendy, I feel like if I got them when I first saw them, I would have definitely had buyer's remorse because that is such an expensive price point for a simple flat ultimately and I really wasn't wearing flats or into flats if you're familiar with my channel you know that I absolutely love platforms and I just recently started wearing flat shoes because of my back happy that I waited around and I got them for a sale price and I didn't have to end up buying them secondhand I personally have never purchased a designer piece secondhand i'm kind of like on the fence about it i'm like super wary about it i don't know about the authenticity i don't know about the way that it's been treated so i am fortunate enough that i was able to catch them firsthand also when you do buy from a source you never know if they've been purchased and returned before or tried on so you technically never get anything new even if you do get something straight from the source but neither here nor there i got them from essence they were on sale $277 and let's get into it. I'm sure you can shop around and find them for a better price, but I will definitely link down below a few different options. I decided to be a smarty pants and not only did I open the box upside down, I opened them with a pen and now I have drawn on the bottom of my white cardboard box and they're upside down. So I have to flip them. Here's the box. It just says Ghani. Ghani is a contemporary designer brand. And I really like that. I feel like the $400 is like pretty affordable. Honestly, if you're looking for something quality that will last you long. Because something like this from Gucci would be like, at this point in time, with inflation and everything, about $800, $900. So I feel like it's definitely, it's definitely there. But I have the... Essence barcode. I got a size 38, which comes out to a size seven and a half, eight. It honestly depends because I've noticed that different brands have 38 as something different. Some brands have 38 as an eight, some brands have 38 as a seven or a seven and a half. So it's definitely important that you make sure what size you are getting. I am more of a seven and a half, eight, and it depends on how the shoes run. And I honestly don't know how they run, but I feel like a 38 is safe for me. And I got the color chalk pink, okay? And that is another reason why I finally decided, let me go ahead and get these shoes because pink is or was my signature color and I wanna get back to my signature style and wearing things that kind of identify me. And pink was a really big thing for me. So I went with the pink. I was happy that I found them because I originally, when I first saw them, I was like, I should get black or I should get the snake skin because that's classic that'll go with everything but then when I had to reassess my wardrobe I have a lot of white because I love wearing white tops and I have a lot of black I have a lot of denim and I have pink but not that much pink I've noticed that more of my accessories or add-ons like sweaters bags bracelets jewelry those are pink and I stick with pink tones. So I felt like that would be a good way for me to continuously incorporate pink into my wardrobe. So that is what really drove me to get the pink and the fact that the pink was on sale, okay? I got them for a discounted price. The black, I wasn't able to find. Honestly, I didn't search once I saw that the pink was on sale because I had my heart set on pink for a while 
um, before I decided to pull the trigger and purchase. Some colors I am finding at discounted prices, but pink was the one that I wanted and I was the one, and that's the one that I found at the discounted price. So let's get into it. Enough yapping. So there is a duster, perfect for travel will not be storing them in this or maybe I will I have recently been going through a lot of my things and getting rid of boxes especially for my shoes that I keep out that I can see on a daily basis they don't need boxes because they don't go in the boxes so maybe this will come in handy if I travel with them this bag is honestly a huge duster especially for flats so I could probably I could probably put in a few pairs of shoes if needed and it just says Ghani. I haven't looked yet if there is a bag that matches but when I was originally interested in these back in I think September or October I saw that there was I would have been able to get like one of the nylon black bags but I haven't found I haven't looked for the pink bags yet so I don't know yet. I haven't I haven't seen if there would be a bag that goes with it but they are wrapped very neatly in tissue paper I do kind of want to take a picture of them they are so cute and they look pretty big like even in the box like I can kind of see how long they are they have a point toe so here is the right shoe this baby is absolutely glistening and this is a detail that I didn't even notice that the sole of the shoe protrudes outside of the tip here they are there is a square tip on the toe and then the tip on the actual shoe is pointed and the buckles are silver and you can see the Ghani logo Ooh, the stitching is poking out which is a bit problematic for me but the sole feels really good really good and i love the pink it's kind of a pastel it kind of, it's like a ballerina it's called chalk pink but it's a very ballerina-esque pink which i like the back strap is leather and wrapped around and on the inside there is this elastic band so that if your foot is a little bit bigger or you do need a little bit of stretch it comes out and it's stuffed with paper so i'm gonna try to keep the paper in there just in case it does crease and then the bottom on the inside of the sole is tan and it says Ghani going through so here's a shoe it does look super long I know that they say that the size of your foot is between your elbow and your palm this is like a really big shoe it's super long I honestly didn't notice that in all of the photos that I'd seen I knew that they were a pointed toe but here is the bottom Ghani made in Portugal size I really thought this was a really big box and the box for my golden gooses is literally so so tiny I'm so skinny and then look in comparison but then also when I look like this makes it makes sense it makes sense this is the golden goose box this is the Ghani flat and yeah, that would have been a really tight squeeze. So definitely makes sense. So the other shoe is was facing down. So here it is. This one, the stitching is not poking out at all in any place, which is perfect. Oh, they look so clean and they feel so good. They kind of feel like um they kind of feel like tap dancing shoes, but obviously without the metal that would make them make noise they're really pretty and then of course you can adjust the size as needed I may need to make it smaller because I do have like long skinny feet so this comes out that was pretty easy to do sometimes I struggle with these so that's good I'm not gonna play with it too much because I don't want to push my luck but I'm definitely going to try them on show you guys how they look on my feet and then i will get right back to you here they are on my feet instantly putting my foot into here i literally just slipped it in absolute perfect fit i did tighten this one my right foot 
just so that it could be a little bit tighter and a fit more snug. But there is honestly a big difference between this side here and this side. Obviously, I can't lift it up at all. And I can say that my feet do look ginormous. They look like that one villain from Powerpuff Girls. You know which one I'm talking about? And he's like super pointy. Yeah, that I feel like that. But I think that these are so cute and super professional. And these are like great for workwear, I will say, because that's honestly how I plan to wear them in professional settings. And I think they're really subtle and feminine. I feel like one, it will show my personality and two, it'll show like I don't take myself too seriously with this color. And a lot of people have been styling them with baggy jeans and things like that. But I think that this is perfect. They're a great fit. They seem easy to walk in. I'm definitely going to have to adjust this one because otherwise when I walk, they will come up like this. But then I still would have growing room if I needed the extra support in the back the way that these fit I can tell that when I walk they're not going to dig into the back of my foot which is something that I absolutely hate about flats is that they dig in the back of your foot because a lot of flats have that scrunch in the back and I can feel this supporting my arch so these will be definitely wearable for a long day so 10 out of 10 my feet do look super big and I do I am giving off a bit of a power puff girls villain but ultimately they are really pretty and I think that this pink is good for the winter fall and spring so definitely a good choice. I kind of already have an idea of how I'm going to style them. I just got in this sweater from Urban Outfitters, which I will also link down below. And the shoes that I'm going to link down below, all of the shoe options that I link, I will I will make a small commission if you decide to purchase from these links. So I got this Champion cardigan from Urban Outfitters. It is a size small and the pink is almost an identical matte. Well, actually, it's showing up on camera no, this is a perfect match. This is literally the perfect match. And I just like went off a whim. I literally just went off a whim. I knew I needed a new cardigan and I saw this in an ad and it did come in a few other colors, but I was like, nah, this is perfect. I don't own anything personally from Champion and it is super soft on the inside. So this would be perfect, a light layer or even to style as a shirt right now it's a bit too hot every day to style it as a shirt i definitely have to wear a tank underneath so that i could take it off throughout the day and this one is just an extra small so i'll be linking that below and i also just ordered this really cute bubble skirt from nordstrom that i'm waiting to come in and i might make that into an outfit i'll try to make that into an outfit but that's what i have in my I definitely 100% can say that I am happy that I got these shoes finally I'm happy that I went with this color and for me a goal of mine as someone who is genuinely interested in fashion and fashion history and curating a fashion archive of my very own I'm happy that I decided to get the authentic piece rather than the dupe i know that there are so many dupe options which i feel like if you're not 100 percent sold on these shoes but you do still like the style then maybe you should get the dupe um i know that steve madden has an amazing dupe i believe it's was originally 120 and i believe they're down to 80 dollars now um on sale and steve madden always does sales so that's always an option which i will link below if you're still not 100 percent into the shoe but I think for me, being that I am building a personal fashion archive, I think it was the perfect timing for me to get the shoes. I waited on it. I thought about it. I found a color that I really love and I feel shows my personality and will continue to show my personality because pink is something, is a color that I love and it's very important to me. And I think learn that fashion definitely tells a story and the things that are trending at the time definitely tell a story especially if it's something that you like and something that you feel like you will wear and I 
am also really excited to wear this as I step into my new career because again, like I said, I want to wear them in a work setting and they will show my personality. It'll be still a super feminine touch. And even though I will have to adjust my style to adjust to the corporate world a little bit more, I can still be me in a way, if you know what I mean. But that is all for my unboxing and my try on. I'm really happy with this purchase. So happy that I got them on sale. And I think if I do decide that I want them in another color or another color might work, then I just might go ahead and get the Steve Madden dupe. I'm not against it in any way, shape or form, but I wouldn't double purchase the shoes since I feel like I won with this with the pink and flats are not something that I would wear every single day. So maybe I would do the dupe for that. But that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of the Ghani brand and the Ghani flats and if you will be purchasing or if you have purchased. Now make sure you are following my Instagram at with one purpose and my LTK so you can see how I ultimately style them. And that is all for today's video. I'll see you guys next time.